Hi everybody, Lisa here with the Mars Hill Art Center and I am so excited to share with all of you that we just passed our four year anniversary. I cannot believe it. We have been in this space in Mars Hill, in Indianapolis for four full years now. And I wanted to give you just a little tour of the space for those of you that might not have actually been inside. I wanna just let you see what it looks like. So I'm walking now into what we call our meeting room space. And this space is where we host events. We have a Taekwondo group that meets in here two nights a week. We host Girl Scouts, we host 4-H day camps, we have parties, people can rent the space and use it for their own purposes. So family reunion, birthday parties, we've had a few weddings, we have had um, little kids birthday parties, it's just great for that. And then as we move through the rest of the space, and if you rent the, the art center from us, you have access to that. And then this is the studio side. And if you actually rent the space from us, the studio rooms will be locked. So you don't have to worry about your folks um, going in and out. This is my office here. And then we have the pottery studio here. And I do plaster relief art in this space as well. We have a couple of restrooms here, and then a big craft room in the back that has all of our supplies like paints and canvases and fabric and buttons and glue and just all kinds of really fun stuff. So this is the space, and we are just so pleased to have been able to serve this community for four years now. Um, I mentioned some of the things that we host in the space. What's interesting is that our actual legal name is the Mars Hill Community and Art Center. And as you can see from our logo, uh, the community word is not in there. So designing the logo and creating a sign, I realized that it was a really long name. So we actually took the community out of it because in the beginning, we were focused more on the art offerings here in the space. And then when COVID hit, we had a hard time getting teachers. We did find ways to continue to serve our community and we were technically still open even though we didn't have people inside participating in events or having parties and things like that. But we have realized over the last couple of years that the word community should be back in there. We're, we're going to leave it the same, but we have really turned into more of a community center where people in this neighborhood, people in Wayne Township, Decatur Township, have really embraced the art center as their own space and a place for them to have their own gatherings, whatever it may be for. Um, bridal showers, baby showers, uh, you name it. We've, we have pretty much covered it all. Um, but some of our other accomplishments that we have had along the way are partnering with Wayne Township 4-H, and we have a wonderful relationship with them. There's an addiction recovery group that meets in here monthly, and we love our relationship with them as well and the things that they're doing with their community. We have a little free library just outside the front door that people put books in for our neighbors to come and get a great book to read or get some books for their kids. We have a blessing box that we put things like toiletry items and socks and things like that that our, our underserved neighbors might need. Um, so I also, besides saying thank you for four years, I want to share with you what we need. We do still have ongoing needs here to be able to continue to serve. So we have what I call our blessing closet here. And anytime people bring things to go into the blessing box, if the blessing box happens to be full, or if you have an overabundance of items, you can bring those to us. We'll put them in the blessing closet, and then I will randomly place things into the blessing box so you don't have to come by and you can maybe offload 
some of those things if you're decluttering your home and things like that. Um, also, we need art teachers. I would love to be able to host more art opportunities in this space for the kids in our neighborhood. But what we find hard these days is finding teachers who are willing to come in and teach. John and I only know so much. Uh, we only dabble in certain mediums of art. We don't know everything there is to know about teaching a group of kids, um, either finger painting or painting just in general. So we would love to have some teachers that would be willing to come in and teach some classes. We'll organize the class. We'll get the kids to come if we could just get some folks that are experts in their field to come in and teach these kids. Um, also, because we're a nonprofit, we like for people to be willing to do that out of the goodness of their heart and to volunteer their time. We don't have the funds to be able to pay teachers. And being a nonprofit, we have pretty much funded this ourselves along with some really key partners in our community who believe in what we're doing and who contribute to us on a regular basis. So they're the ones that help us keep the lights on. Um, another thing that we may need here every now and then, because we host a lot of people in this space, toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper and hand wash um, that we can put in our refillable um, soap dispensers in our bathrooms. Just things like that, that, that help us to be able to serve the people that come in and out um, better. And yeah, so, that's it. I just wanted to come to you with a thank you and let you know kind of what we've continued to be doing and maybe what some of our needs might be if you feel so led. And another way to contribute to our effort here for any of you that just want to support us, you can always set up a recurring payment monthly on PayPal and it just comes straight to us. $10, $20, um, any little amount really does help. Um, our overhead is very low, we keep it very low, but to be able to have people in and out of this building, the liability insurance is probably what is our biggest expense. Um, utilities are okay, you know, this is a decent size space, um, but you know, that any financial contribution would help go towards that as well. So um, other ways that we fund it are my floral business helps support the art center. I do full-blown weddings and events, and I do some other art-related things that whenever I have art sales, those sales come directly back to the art center. I have some art that's related to the Indy 500 and then I do my plaster relief and that all helps support what we do here too. So anyway, that's it. I just wanna say thank you, four years, can't believe it. And just wait until next year. We are already planning our five year anniversary and it is gonna be the best. You guys are gonna to wanna to come. Our neighbors are gonna flock to this block when they hear what's going on down here. So yeah, four years done, on to the next. You guys have a great day.